Morning, everyone. Day number four. Day before Arizona, which is pretty exciting. <clears throat> I just finished all my morning mobility, as you can see by basketball, dumbbell, foam roller, mat. I had a BDS video, Rick Shields and the BDS video playing in the background, which is nice. Got my headphones going. I'm really thoroughly enjoying this like morning activity. Like one of the greatest joys in my life is feeling like an athlete. It's been my identity like my whole life. And I don't know, something about like making conscious decisions and kind of like getting uncomfortable in like either whether it be like an exercise routine or even in this, like, like for me, exercise has always come easy. I love exercising. I love training. I never have to like push myself to do that, but I've always had to push myself to do like body work and stuff. Um, but something about like golf and feeling the real benefit of like increasing mobility and wanting to avoid injury. I'm just like thoroughly enjoying this kind of like rehab program. And I think I'm going to like go forever. Like as soon as we feel like we've tapped the potential of this program, I'm just going to ask for another one and I'll get Sean to write me another one and just like keep going. And even if it turns into just like preventative stuff, like I love this routine of waking up and like doing some sort of just like it's like 30 minutes of movement, you know? It just feels so good. So, very much enjoying that. I think I'm going to take a rest day today. Um, I've trained every day this week, if you include the golf yesterday, which, cart golf, so it's kind of hard to include that in activity, but um, I still feel nice and sore from that last push day. If anything, I would do a pull day, but we kind of got, not full day, but we're just kind of running around a little bit. We're going to see the in-laws and drop off our dogs um before we go uh we don't leave till late tomorrow night we got the whole day here tomorrow still but we're just gonna get that out of the way today visit with them and then i think if anything maybe i'll train tomorrow but probably not i'll probably take today tomorrow off and then train in arizona on monday but ah, it just feels good man it feels good to have this kind of like routine set in and yesterday speaking of the athlete stuff yesterday's round really fired me up like it's cool when you it's it's frustrating when you try to change something I guess but I think what I've like always honed on to and why I haven't really gone and got lessons or anything is like if I'm making like a change in my swing I said this a little yesterday I can always feel like I can like work to correct it myself and if I if I'm doing something that I've put in so for example like feeling intentionally that hip rotation um in my swing and I'm blocking it or missing or whatever I like I can visualize why and then I can feel a correction and I did that yesterday and it was like stripe show city like I was absolutely pummeling the ball I've never hit the ball that good um yeah like it was actually like very different I'm very excited to see what the numbers are with that I'll probably go back to the sim when we get back in like a week week and a half and see if there's a an increase in ball speed again not again I'm not doing it just for that but golly it feels good to crunch balls like I was hitting balls yesterday for example for a bit of context I play that course obviously mainly in the summer and I was hitting balls from a tee box further back because they put the blues where the tips usually are because they close the tips in the winter but most of the tee boxes yesterday on everything except the par threes were like all the way back in the winter from the tips I and I usually don't play the tips I usually play the blues I was hitting tee balls that were landing with no release because it's wet further than where I would usually be playing my second shots from in the summer from a tee box up. So like, I, I know it sounds impressive, but like you got to remember, like for someone my size and my athletic background, <laughs> it's absolutely piss to be driving the ball only to like 240 yards. Like that's ridiculous. So, you know, me making a quantum leap forward is actually probably just me like finally like latching on to my potential it's actually probably not that impressive but it feels amazing and like that's the biggest thing right that's why I'm doing this I'm not doing this just to have like a further drive I'm doing this because it just feels better the swing feels better I'm cracking the ball more I'm enjoying it um, and I'm hitting more consistent shots like my irons were way more consistent this you know kind of little swing change or thought or movement or action or whatever it feels really good. So, anyways, I'm super excited. Um, 
for everything in life right now, man. I'm really, really enjoying these videos. Like, I was saying to Ree last night, my wife, um, I was, like, editing it in bed, and I'm just, like, I just enjoy every, every bit of this, every second of this. Like, this is, it's just so fun. Like, I'm, I'm making these videos, I've said this a million times, but, like, I'm making them for me. I'm just, like, making exactly what I want to make and what I feel like I would enjoy watching if I liked me, you know? <laughs> so, like, for you guys who find me interesting or my life, that's great. And these are the type of videos that if I found someone in their life interesting and their journey or whatever, and I wanted to follow along with it, this is exactly what I would want to watch. Like a more chill, just like real raw. Like I'm really just like being so honest with you guys about everything. And I just, I love that. It's like a dream. And it's such a nice compliment to the more like thought out, produced, you know, YouTube centric title thumbnail efforts that I put into my other videos on the golf channel um and plus this just shows a side of me that is just such a huge part of my life my fitness and my golf like those are two of the biggest parts of my life so I'm very excited about the content I'm very excited about obviously our trip Arizona I'm making plans already I got some sweet golf plans coming up um I'm talking to some cool people from both like my CrossFit background and the golf world so I mean waste management's just one I've always wanted to be at because it really draws in a lot of people which is super cool like a lot of you know just in general like people you can connect with and people from all walks of life if they enjoy golf at all waste management is like one of the ones that everyone kind of congregates to so I'm just super excited for that I'm super excited to get down there I'm super excited to vlog the whole thing like I was really struggling with what I was going to do for content because like I'm not just going to upload these types of videos on the golf channel because again like I gave this analogy yesterday but like when you show up to a restaurant and every day you're ordering a steak sandwich and then one day they try to give you a kale salad you're like well no I come here for the steak sandwich like that's you know my other channel is like it's more put together it's like the news stuff it's I'm gonna do the behind the scenes video at the tournament which will be great you know if I have any interviews or whatever like those are all going there but this is like Nate Edwardson this is just my channel you know, they don't say golf is like for people and that's great. But this is like, this is had started as my channel. It kind of turned into a CrossFit channel, but now it's definitely back to just being like my channel. And I love it. And by the way, thank you for all the subscriptions. This is crazy. This channel, because I haven't uploaded on it in a year, it's just been losing like 20 to 50 subscribers a month. just kind of consistently. It's like, dip, 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 dip. Um, but now in the last, I think, two days or three days since I started uploading these videos, it's gone up like 75 subscribers, which is like, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when your channel's just been losing 25 to 50 um, for the last year because you haven't been posting, it's kind of cool. So, and I'm glad, you know, the few of you that are watching this are enjoying these videos. So anyways, I'm just, I'm very excited about absolutely everything we got going on right now. You want to see something that's making my life and packing incredibly easy? So I just got the spring, oops, I just got the spring 24 drop from Good Get a little while ago. And uh, so I still have a, like a lot of the stuff in bags still. So I just brought my wife in and I was like, can you match a polo to a quarter zip? So she did, so quarter zip, polo, this one's like an exact match. And then polo, quarter zip, polo, quarter zip. So now when I go to pack, look at this, ready for this? This is just the easiest thing ever. So there's my bag and I'm just going, I'm just going polo, quarter zip. Flat. Just going. Pull a quarter zip. Flat. And one more. Pull a quarter zip. Boom. And look at that. Look how good and organized that is. Making life easy. Boom. Boom. I mean, we're still like 30 six hours out from actual traveling, but I'm just a, I'm just a get it done kind of guy, you know? I did laundry last night. It's all ready. Why not? Now all I have to do is get my golf clubs and my films stuff together. And by film stuff, I mean a single camera. And we're good to go. All right, we're a little what's in the bag. Packing my golf bag. So we're gonna do a little updated what's in the bag. Cause I actually have some new clubs, some new irons specifically. Um, that I didn't have last time I updated this. And it's kind of crazy for me to be doing a, an updated what's in the bag because this time last year, I still had like 
the first set of thrift store clubs that I bought that are like $99 and they were blades from like 1995. So it is pretty crazy to be doing this updated what's in the bag. But anyway, let's go through it. Uh, start putter and then kind of work our way down. The irons are what's new. So I guess I'll save those to the end for suspense, but we have the, the good, good putter here. Um, this was obviously given to me by good, good. This was given to me by good, good back in shortly after I signed with them. I don't remember when. I guess maybe like August or September. And I mean, I put it in the bag because I'm sponsored by them on the apparel side. I don't have to use the putter. That's not in my contract, but it, uh, you know, I just was like, oh, all right, I'll do it to support. But I actually ended up liking it a lot more. I had tried a, I had a mallet putter before and then I tried a Scotty Cameron Phantom. Um, but I actually really liked like being kind of like an athletic field player. I really actually prefer a blade putter because it just, it, it does a lot more of what I feel like I'm doing to the ball. Like I definitely don't putt with like a lot of intentionality. I'm not like, okay, it's like this distance. So I'm gonna put this much of a stroke on it. I literally get up, I like initial read. I go with my initial green read and then I look at the hole and then I just like, all right. And I try to like, just putt. Like I don't even think about it, I just putt. And that's how I judge speed is I just like, if I'm throwing into the hole, how much would I need to throw it? So I feel like a blade responds better than a mallet to me with that. Um, which is kind of funny because it's actually my opposite for like actual golf clubs. I'm not going to use blades, but anyway, uh, this is, these are the same, but you might not have seen. Uh, this is a TSR three hybrid. Um, so this is my hybrid. This is like the club in the bag that like, I don't mind, but I think if I was to change out a club, it would probably be this just cause like, I don't get a ton of utility out of it. Like, it's just kind of like my gap. It, it's a good gapping club between my four iron and my three wood. But I, I don't, I think I'd like something that like maybe like a five wood, something that I can like float a little higher, easier and land softer to kind of attack greens with. This thing is quite good off the tee. And it's good if I'm just trying to like drive a ball down a fairway, like laying up on a par five or whatever, but it's not my favorite. This, I really, really like. This is the TSR two three wood. Um, this is supposed to be a bit more four off the tee. It's a little lower spinning, um, lower flighted three wood, which I really enjoy. Um, it's just a really good club off the tee. I use it a little bit off the deck, again, going at par fives, but I don't know, typically if I'm going at a par five, it's usually less than a three wood. And if it's not, then I'm usually not going at it. It's usually trouble. Um, driver, TSR three driver. I'm just kind of firing through these because these are the ones I had before. So this is an amazing job. I absolutely love this driver. I have hazardous shafts in all of these as well, by the way, hazardous black shafts. I think this one's 60, I think the three wood is 60. And then I think the uh, hybrid is 70 grams shafts. Um, so those are the woods and the putter. The wedges are all uh, SM9 bulky wedges which is like this was the thing i was most excited for so if you don't remember i got a dm like randomly from a subscriber uh and basically was just like hey like i love what you do this is oh by the way i have a 58 and a 8m grind i have a 54 and a 10s and then i have a 50 degree in a 12f i used to have a i used to go 60 56 52 um but I switched to 58 because I can open it up around the green and like do what I want with it. But I just like it a bit better than a 60 degree for full swings. But anyways, I had a subscriber reach out to me and he was like, Hey man, like I did a what's in the bag a while ago with like my craft clubs. And he was like, Hey man, like you can't have those clubs. Like, you know, I love your channel. I want to just like support you. I want to like get you a new set of clubs. And, uh, I don't know. I get weird DMs all the time. So I was kind of just like, I didn't ignore it, but I was kind of like, all right, I appreciate it, man. But like, I can't just take your money. Anyway, we kept talking and he turns out he's like just this like unreal dude named Ben from uh, Halifax. And he literally just wanted to buy me new set clubs. Like there's no strings attached. He literally was just like, I'm a huge fan. He's like, I've done well for myself and I just want to like help you out. Like, let me do this for you. And uh, yeah, long story short, he ended up transferring me like enough money to buy an entire bag of clubs. So when that happened, the thing I was most excited for was wedges. I'd say wedges and putting are the two best parts of my game and kind of have been. And so, you know, I, I was really excited to get wedges that I felt would have a bit better feel because I had, <coughs> excuse me, the Costco Kirkland wedges before, which are still sitting over there, which were fine, but I love the weight of these, the Volkies, like the weight of the head. I just feel like I can manipulate it better. 
push on certain game. But anyways, what you came for, uh, the switch out. So when I got fitted, I got fitted all Titleist just because it was the only grass fitting facility that I could find, AKA the only fitting facility where they let you hit off grass. Uh, and it was TrackMan and the fitter was like pretty respected. So I went with all Titleist. I got the T100s, that's what he fit me for. I hit the T200s, I hit like all the other clubs. The T100s were the ones that I had the best and most consistent numbers within the lineup. But the more I used them, the more I just, I didn't need all of the like workability that they had. And I definitely wanted a little bit more forgiveness. I, I'm, I don't shape my shots a ton, um, like regularly, like I hit a cut. I'm like kind of like Dustin Johnson at this point. Like if I have to hit a draw, I, I hit a cut. Like I like hitting cuts. I can hit draws. Like it's not that I can't. I just, it cuts are so much more reliable for me. I think they're just a better ball flight overall. I mean, I just like them. I, I like them way more. So I hit one ball flight. It's not a huge cut. It's usually like a five yard cut. And with the shorter clubs, it's usually more of a straight ball flight. So I don't need a lot of workability and I wanted more forgiveness on this hit. So what ended up happening, I was looking at maybe swapping in the T100s for like a P770 or even a P790. I wanted to go kind of get fitted for those because I liked the look of those clubs and I liked that they had like more forgiveness and everything. But Tacoma reached out to me, which is a brand out of like Sweden or something like that. Um, they sponsored a lot of golf influencers. I think they just signed Busted Jack actually. I think that was just announced. And anyway, they reached out and they're like, hey, um, I don't, maybe I reached out to them. I think I reached out to them to do like a giveaway. I was like, hey, do you guys want to do, oh yeah, that's what it was. I was like, hey, do you guys want to do like a Christmas giveaway? And they were like, no, but we'd love to send you a new set of clubs. I was like, oh, okay, sure. So I got to go on their website and pick out whatever I wanted. So I researched and what I landed on was these, the 101 Tees, the Tacoma 101 Tees. Uh, they look very similar to the P770s. They have kind of this little thing in there. I don't know what that does, but it's a hollow body design, so they're not forged. Um, and I think they probably have like some tech in there um, that I think they're described as like a player's distance iron. Like they don't really give you a ton of, I haven't noticed a ton of difference difference between these and my T100s. They kind of fly the same distance. Um, but I just like the, the, the look of these. I don't like the feel as much because I mean, nothing's going to feel better than like a forged club. And the T100s are like sort of like blades. They're like modern blades. So those felt great when I hit it great, but they also felt horrible when I hit it horrible. Whereas these are just like solid, reliable. I do think my miss hits are better with these. Um, and I think that's just like super worth it. So I have them pitching wedge all the way up to four iron. Um, and I love, like I really do. And I, I don't think like a split set or anything like that would have been for me anyways, because like I wanted the same amount of like forgiveness and like whatever in all the clubs. I wasn't just like having trouble hitting the four iron. It was like, I felt the same way with, you know, miss hits with my nine iron, you know? So, um, these clubs are great. They're, they're like the P770s, I think. I think that the T100s from these guys are the equivalent of the P790s. So they have a club that's even more like distance and more forgiveness. So this is still like more of like a player's iron, but like, honestly, like Grant Horvat is using the P770s. So if that guy with his ball striking and his experience in golf is using those clubs, then me in my mind, like something with this level of forgiveness was like a no brainer. So anyways, that's the what's in the bag. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you tomorrow.